O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great week, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way you reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about taking action. It's not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 201, NASDAQ up 71, SP's up 30. Gold, gold contract up $27.20, traded at 1872 an ounce. We have silver up 28 cents, $22 one cent an ounce. Light Street crude up 360, $86.39 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up a full point plus one tick at 107.28. The 30 year up a full point plus 19 ticks at 112.02. And then King Dollar, King Dollar right now up 11 ticks, 106. 056 euro at 105 yen at 148 british pound at 122 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the s ps let's take a look at it what do you have well bottom line friday you went higher with conviction and wide price spread accelerated volume this morning well over the weekend you had hummus attack israel and the bottom line is that, you know, if we go to the futures here, what you're going to see that we didn't even, well, we did a 50% retracement from the lows of Friday to the highs of Friday to the lows of this morning and shook it off. It gets above the highs of Friday. And if you take a look at my chart here, it has volume. It blew out that high with volume. Now that in itself, folks, okay, is saying that guess what? Higher markets are coming at us. When you can when you can do something like that, and that markets are that deviant. It's unbelievable. It really is. You know, now the gold contract did move. And gold jumped off its lows. And we'll see what kind of follow-through we can get. Because the price-wise, it's good. But we only still only have 172,000 contracts. That this baby should be bringing out like a couple hundred thousand contracts. But my, my take is that that's off the bottom also. The Qs, NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Same type of setup. The bottom line, this market wants higher price. But, you know, the Qs are leading. What you had is that, you know, we were only one day. We broke the swing for one day, shook it off, had the sign of strength, have follow through now. Bottom line, you know, the Q's right now are at 366. The next move here is somewhere at the uh, 380 number. And this one is really important, too. The real question is going to be, do we get follow through inside the note and bond market? Because the note and bond market, you know, what the note and bond market did, when you take a look at this, is that we had come down last Wednesday with some volume. Friday, with 2.5 million contracts. Friday, it didn't make it to the low at 2.3. You're higher today, light volume. Bottom line is that what it has done, though, it has broken the uptrend, the downtrend, rather. So the 10-year now is saying it wants to go to 111.12. If that's the case, that means that we very well may have topped out because the, the, the bond stories were all over the weekend. They were everywhere, too. Bottom line, we'll see whether it's topped out. It would have been topped out at 4.801. Right now, we are at uh, high. That's weird. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, they're not updating this because of the fact that the bond market itself is closed today. Electronically, we're open, okay, but the bottom line, the bottom line is closed. GC, we go into the gold contract. Well, let's, let's go into the GDX. Oh, no, no, we got to go to the dollar first because this is the dollar is running everything. Okay, so we take a look at the dollar, and what you're going to see is it's right 
at, uh, let me do this a better one. It's right at the channel line. Hasn't broken it yet. What we have done today is we certainly gave up on price. I'll get it this time. There you go. So we, we got to 106,600. Right now you're at 106,052. So you can see you need one more day and this channel line will bust. Now, what you'd like to see, well, what I'd like to see is a bust on conviction. And what that means is that you get a wide price spread run. And if that's what we get, then, you know, you're going to continue to see the S&P go higher. You're going to continue to see the commodities go higher. Let's go over to the oil contract. Oil, oil and gold were the only things that really moved over the weekend. Okay, so you get 390 on, on the uh, Middle East. Okay, so you get 399,000 contracts. Hey, we came down with just as many. So, you know, that's not telling me anything yet. We came down with actually 460,000. Yeah, we came down 460,000. So this is actually going to need more contract volume in order to get to higher price. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. All the gold stocks are moving, and they, they have some juice underneath them. We go to the GDX. That came off the lows Friday, had good volume on it. Right now, we're trading at uh, 27.59. Now, what this just did, this just got in the higher range. So if we close here, that's really good news, man. It's saying that, OK, this baby wants to run now to the 30.13. We'll take it step by step on the way up. But it did get to the next range up, OK? And you know it's going to be really interesting to see how this whole thing shakes out. If we go to an eco eagle, that has a little juice underneath it today. AU, they they all have some, they, they they don't all. Yeah, I'll show you Newmont. Newmont's still a laggard, man. Um, Anglo Gold is a powerhouse. That's you get price volume, you get everything happening, and then Newmont and Newmont. See Newmont and Barrick. Yeah, Newmont's down 25 cents. Newmont and Barrick are laggards out there. So that's going to be laggards inside the XAU and the HUI. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow Industrials up 177, NASDAQ up 165, S&P's up 28. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever.